Well, here we are. We're ready for the big show, as they call it, in the big barn, as Jason Kelber said he called it, and I, it's not, he's not alone in calling it that. Well, I tell you what, he more than belonged there. He should have been the outstanding wrestler in the NCAA tournament his senior year when he beat Terry Brands at Iowa City in, in uh, I wouldn't say dominant fashion. I don't think he ever beat Terry Brands in dominant fashion, but how tough of a competitor he is. But Jason Kelber, three-time state champion and national champion, truly an outstanding force in college wrestling when he wrestled. Well, you know, let's uh, review the match scoring uh, here in the match scoring. Of course, uh, takedown is worth two and escape one point, reversal two points. There's a couple of ways you can get near falls and two point and three point near falls. That's if you hold them their back uh, past the 45 degree angle. And uh, if you hold them there long enough, you get three points. And there's team scoring. And this is important tonight because uh, um, everything's uh, already accumulated to a second place. So tonight, if you win, you get four more. You go from 12 to 16. And uh, so, and also team scoring, you get uh, two extra points for default, forfeit, disqualification, and advance in the championship. But tonight, we're looking at whether they score a major decision, they get an extra point, or a technical flaw, a, a point and a half, or a, a pin, uh, two points. That could come into play tonight, especially in one of the big races where um, uh, Davenport Assumption and New Hampton uh, are going against each other in at 3A as well. Now we're going to start at 3A, Jim. Returning champions at 3A, uh, Chad Davis, 42-0 from Council Bluffs, Lewis Central, versus Dominique Moyer from Oskaloosa, 33-3. Well, well, this is a great matchup here. you got uh, uh, several returning champions in, in Brian Hensius and Cliff Moore and Drew Kelly and... and uh, We'll see quite a few of these guys that are waiting to get their ankle band set up here, wait for the 3A mat, but I'm great situation here. These athletes have been waiting around for a little bit, waiting for their warm-ups and waiting for the mat to clear as we gave our award presentation, so they had a little bit of standing around here. We'll see who comes out fresh. Well, in the other uh, uh, matches that we'll be showing you, here comes uh, the other 3A uh, wrestler uh, from Lewis Central. He is the defending uh, state champion, is he, or was he... Uh, nope, he's got a 42-0 record. That's record. Chad Davis. He's just a uh, just a freshman. So he's ready to do it for the first time. 42-0, yep. a freshman going up against Dominique Moore from Moyer from Oskaloosa. Check that. Uh, Chad Davis is a 10th is a grader here, sophomore. And he's going up against Dominic Moyer from Oskaloosa, and he's a ninth grader. So we got a sophomore and a freshman out there on the mat, 3A. The referee is Mike. You'll hear him tonight. It's Keith Pullman uh, uh, from Charles City. Wrestled at Clarion in high school and Northern Iowa in, in college where he yeah, was uh, All-American for the Northern Good Iowa luck, Panthers. Okay, you hear table. him right there. We'll listen to him throughout the match. Dominic Moyer is a little bit undersized here as a three-pounder. He's basically, strategy out here is just go out there and keep it close here for a little bit. But uh, he's kind of grown into the weight class as the uh, years progressed. There you see the inserts up there on the top. That's uh, Nick Lee from Columbus Junction going against Joe Ryder. Nick Lee from Columbus Junction against Joe Ryder from Gilbertsville, Don, Box, Don Bosco. And in 2A right there below, you'll see um, Kellen up. Craver from Knoxville going yes. up against Joe Hunt from Louisa Muscatine. And uh, Joe Hunt trying to become Louisa Muscatine, l and there, the first state champion. So we'll, uh, you'll be able to see that. We'll call the match that's featured right here in 3A. Action, guys. Not much, not much action yet here in 3A here. Dominic Moyer kind of doing a little bit of stalking. Now Chad Davis coming in on a fire, half fireman's carry attempt. Warded off pretty well by Moyer from Oskaloosa. We're at the 3A, 103-pound match. A little over a minute gone by, and the score is knotted at 0-0. No score yet Improve it. between Improve it. Moyer and Davis. Moyer from Oskaloosa, Davis from Council Bluff, Lewis Central. Coached yep, by Keith shot. Massey Both and up. Oskaloosa, coached by Jason go, Christensen. Guys. Well, this is exactly what Moyer wanted to do, was just keep it close. There's Jason Christensen you just saw on the right. His dad... Uh, was my high school coach at Morning Sun my senior year and uh, Denny Christensen and then at Anamosa and now his son out in the mat after he retired a couple of years ago. There's another fireman's carry attempt here by Chad Davis. New start, guys. Neutral. Yeah. Gonna get a neutral start as they go off the mat. And up at the top there, speaking of uh, Morning Sun again, uh, Nick Lee from Columbus Junction, his dad and I wrestled together. Doug and Ann Lee, uh, we went to high school together, and he's uh, now wrestling for Columbus Junction. And, 
And uh, that's really exciting, Jim. We talked about your three state championships, and you come back, and all of a sudden you see friends of yours have kids here in, in the meet, and it's just great. I know Nick's grandma, Pauline, couldn't come up. She's watching at home, and so that's real exciting. In 2A, the score is 2-2 two to two, uh, between Kraber from Knoxville and Hunts from Louisa Muscatine. Green strike. And we're going to end the first period here Take with uh, period. Chad Davis and... Dominic Moyer here, no score. Second pair, guys, bottom man, set, top man, take position. Moyer will be in the top position here. Moyer trying to ride here a little bit. He's got a pretty good set of legs in the top. He likes to use the tilt and use a guillotine type technique, so we'll see if he can go to that. Well, yep, here comes uh, Davis That's trying two. to get out, reversal. and he does. Two. He gets two reversal to go ahead, 2-0. A minute uh, 35 left in the second period, and the first scoring is done by Chad Davis from Council Bluff, Lewis Central, to take a 2-0 lead here. That's Chad Davis in the blue on top, going against Dominique Moyer from Oskaloosa. And I tell you what, Chad Davis is really tough in the top position. He likes to go to bar arms, and you see it right there. He's got a bar arm, a chicken wing with the left arm, and is working with a half Nelson with the right arm. Now he drops into a wrist ride, so... He knows what he can do up in here, and I think he's trying to take a little bit of starch out of Moyer here from the top position. Well, you know, it's kind of interesting. We have Dan Mashik, coach of the year uh, for Don Bosco on one mat. His son, Tom Mashik, coaching for Louise Muscatine, and you see the hand raised in that bottom, and he's jumping right there. He's real excited into Tom Mashik's arms, and that's their first state champion at Louise Muscatine. Tom Mashik, son of the winningest coach in the history of the sport, Dan Mashik, Break it, guys. from Don start. Bosco, getting a state champion for L&M, well, Muscatine. Not everybody could make it from Louise Muscatine, but I guarantee you they're, they're planning a little pep assembly here on Monday morning. That's right, that's right. They'll come out there strong. Chad Davis still in the top position. That's what he wants to do. I think he's a little bit bigger. I, I don't think Moyer is that uh, a full 103 pounds here. and Just kind of overpowering. Right overpowering and, and, uh, and that's what you want to do if you're the larger athlete is make the bottom man work a little bit more and Chad Davis is certainly doing that. Notice how Davis is keeping uh, weight over Moyer's hips, making it difficult for him to build up to his base. Action, action. A lot of pressure on him. He's making himself heavy. Is that one way to, to say yep. it? Now he comes out to a half on the Ooh. far side. He's going to try to stack him up. A little bit high. Wasn't quite able to get it. Now Moyer coming up into a stand-up. Very dominating Great second choice. period there after he reversed him shortly into the second period, but the score is still only 2-0. Here's the reversal here. Okay, guys. Uh, there it is. Works Third out period. here. Notice All how he gets hip seven. distance, okay? Right. He gets hip distance. Now Keith Cool is going to call the two as he gets around behind. Scores a two-point reversal. Up in the corner, the only match left there after the pin by the LM wrestler. Nick Lee just went ahead with a takedown to, to, to be leading 6-5 to five with a minute 30 left in the match. Nick Lee from Columbus Junction over Joe Ryder from Gilbertville Don Bosco. 6-5 to five with a minute and a half left. It's still 2-0 here in the 3A feature match between Dominique Moyer and Chad Davis. Davis leading and trying to keep his record perfect. And now uh, Moyer gets his hips out here, does a good job of uh, getting hip distance there, switches back in, gets reversal. He ties up the match now 2-2 with 120 left in the third period. And now we're going to those leg rides like that we talked about earlier. He's good in this position. Now he's got the banana split technique here. This is tough. He's got to use his left leg here. Let's way back. Davis oh. is in a bad position here. And what's he need to do on top there, uh, uh, Moyer? I tell you what, he's just got to use his left leg and stack him back here, and he's almost going to do it. One back point, one count right there. There's a two count. What a comeback. Wow, and now I've got two red. Two red, now a reversal here for Davis. So we've got a four to four match with 40 seconds left in the match. It's four to four, all knotted up between Chad Davis from Lewis Central and Dominic Moyer from Oskaloosa. And this favors Moyer up here if he can get his hips out here. Score to one point or two point reversal here. He'll be in control. We've got a wild one up in the corner too. Nick Lee just went ahead 10 to eight That's with 30 right, seconds. Locked hands, Tim. Whoa, locked hands with 18, 17, and 
Chad Davis is going to get called for locked hands in the top position. Now he's going to give up a reversal, possibly. No, but he's better. Now, can they score the back points even if he had locked hands? Yes. Or they stop? Yes, as long as the advantage of the position favors Moyer. Break it, guys. Now he's going to I call one red. On the technical violation. See, Davis was in the top position. And as long as Moyer was threatening to score there. He sees it. Yeah. And that's it, guys. Dominic Moyer. Like Van said. A penalty job, point. There you go. Wins it for Dominique Moyer from Oskaloosa. Jason Christensen Arvance gets his first state championship with a point for locked hands to break a tie. Wow, Jim. What an exciting match. You know, and Moyer was just about ready to get out and, and, and in order to stop the technique. Davis locked hands there. Official Keith Pullman was right on. Here we are. We're at 1A, and there's 14 seconds left. The score is 10 to 8 in favor of the top man, Nick Lee from Columbus Junction. Yep, now a roll through a situation. He gets the two right before the end. What exciting matches. Whoa, he gets one. No, he doesn't get anything. Wow, we're, that's exciting. We're going to overtime. We're going to overtime. Are you ready? Woo! <laughs> Man, this is great. So, Nick Lee from uh, Columbus, Junction. Columbus Junction. Joe Reeder. Don Bosco. John Bosco kids and Columbus Junction kids been here many times before. Ryder and, and uh, first takedown. Talk talk to us about this overtime, Jim. I tell you what, it's a, it's the first guy. They call it sudden victory. The first guy to score here. Now we have Ritter moving around to the outside, walking around to the outside. He's got to get his right leg free. He's going to score here. Whoa! Here, whoa! Now Ritter is, is basically giving up position here. He's on both cheeks. They'll probably give him a little bit of reaction time here. Nick Lee, if he can cast across and get the second, he's get his right arm across the body. Lee beats Ryder right there. Lee yep. wins for Columbus Junction. What excitement here. Yes, it was. Very exciting. Great match. 12-10, overtime decision. Well, that's... Uh, Outstanding way to, to start our evening. And we got a lot of great wrestling in front of us, Jim Gibbons. And so to recap that, um, Dominique Moyer from Oskaloosa wins in the uh, 3A. And Joe Hunt brings uh, Louisa Muscatine their first state championship by winning um, at 2A. And Nick Lee from Columbus Junction. There's Bill Plain in the white shirt there. And John Siegel in the, the blue and red stripe. The, the coaches, Bill Plain, the head coach congratulating their newest state champion. And that's a great thing about this event. I mean, you really get to see the true emotion after these, these fellows win their championships and, and uh, you know, the runner-ups and the, the, the emotion. And the, some. And we'll go to Dick Trotter now. A new champion at 103 pounds in Class 2A, and it goes to a junior by the name of Joel Hans of Louisa Muscatine. Here you see Hans in the second period as he turned his opponent, Kellen Craver of Knoxville, in 2 minutes and 58 seconds. There you see a happy young man from Louisa Muscatine. Back to you, Tim. Thank you. Presenting the Class 1A 103-pound awards, assistant coach John Siegel of Columbus Junction, Columbus. Sixth place, Wade Saturn, Bode, Twin River Valley. Fifth place, Mario Galanakis, Greenfield, Nottoway Valley. Fourth place, Luke Four, Wapolo. Third place, Richard Ewing, Moravia. Runner-up, Joe Ryder, Gibberville, Don Bosco. And the Class 1A 103-pound champion from Columbus Junction, Columbus, Nick Lee. Well, that's great. There's Nick Lee, and uh, his assistant coach, John Siegel, gave him the medal, and that's because his assistant coach has known him since he was born and has brought him up through the kids' program in uh, the Morning Sun area, and they go to Columbus Junction um, High School, and so it's a sweet victory for uh, the coach that uh, has left, uh, brought him along. There's more than one winner in that weight class there. I don't know if you, a lot of people realize that Wade Saturn here was an amputee. Uh, placed sixth place in, this, in the state tournament here. What a great deal. Yeah, let's come back to that. Sixth place, Grant Vanderheiden, Stewart, West Central. Fifth place, Andre Avila, Davenport Assumption. Fourth place, Justin Peterson, DeWitt Central. Third place, Chris Graves, Clorinda. 
Runner-up, Kellen Graber, Knoxville. And the Class 2A 103-pound champion from Louisa Muscatine Letts, Joe Hans. Well, Joe Hans, the first state champion from Louisa Muscatine, and that's Tommy Mashick giving it to him. And like you said, his dad, the coach of the year, and so that's, that's, that's got to be a special feeling. Well, now son knows what uh, father was going through. That's pretty exciting, handing out those medals. Presenting the Class 3 103-pound awards, Coach Jason Christensen of Oskaloosa. Sixth place, Riley Ball, Burlington. Fifth place, Ryan Gatto, Epworth Western Dubuque. Fourth place, Anthony Watson, Waterloo East. Third place, Sullivan Bacom, Des Moines North. Runner-up, Chad Davis, Lewis Central Council Bluffs. And the Class 3A 103-pound champion from Oskaloosa, Dominic Moyer. Well, there you go again. That's what this tournament is, why it's so neat. Dean Borg. Jesse Sundell of Ogden, the 